He's still not talking, and an attorney representing the family of Justine Damon says clearly this is an improper use of deadly force. A Minneapolis police chief back from vacation is not standing behind the officer who fired that deadly shot. Chief Janae Harto, in her first public comments, stated clearly that Justine did not have to die. I believe the actions in question go against who we are as a department, how we train, and the expectations we have for our officers. These were the actions and judgment of one individual. I want to assure Justine's family, our community, and those in Australia that I will do everything in my power to make sure due process is followed and justice is served. Last Saturday night, Justine Damon called 911 about a possible sexual assault. The only information we have about what may have led up to the shooting comes from a statement made by the officer driving the car. He said there were loud noises prior to Justine approaching the driver's side door. Officer Mohammed Noor fired from the passenger seat killing Damon. Nor has not yet given a statement to the investigating agency, the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. Part of what demonstrators are demanding is that he be fired if he doesn't explain why he fired his weapon. Hundreds of marchers who gathered in the neighborhood where Damon lived are demanding that Officer Nor be prosecuted and that dash cam footage be released, although previous statements are that nothing was captured by the dash cams. Body cameras were worn by the officers but were not activated to record. Now, Damon is from Australia. Her relatives are requesting that her remains be returned there. Heather? Yeah, I know. And I think they're still looking for a bicyclist who was in the area that possibly witnessed it as well. So hopefully they'll find that person. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thanks.